Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to discuss the last two questions of October, November 2019, 9709933. So, here is the question number 9. The variable x, variables x and t satisfy the differential equation 5 dx over dt times uh, is equal to 20 minus x times 40 minus x. It is given that x is equal to 10 when t is equal to 0. Using the partial fractions solve the differential equation and obtain an expression for x in terms of t. So, we need to use the partial fraction first of all, then we will solve the differential equation and then obtain an expression for x in terms of t. So, we can do the variable separable here because we can see it is dt and it is dx and it is the product of two uh, terms in x. So, it is going to be dx over 20 minus x. Uh, I'll write 5 as well and 40 minus x is equal to dt. So, now in order to solve it, we have to do the partial fraction of course, because we have the product of two linear factors in the denominator. So, for that we will write it as 5 over 20 minus x into 40 minus x as a is a over the first factor that is 20 minus x plus b over second factor that is 40 minus x and we will multiply by the denominator throughout and we will get 5 is equal to a times 40 minus x plus b times 20 minus x and since this is true for all the values of x so we will put x value as 24 once so that we can get rid of this b part and we will get 5 is equal to 40 minus 20, 20 a. So, we got a is equal to 1 over 4 and again we put x is equal to 40 so that we got rid of this. So, we got it as 5 is equal to 20 minus 40 is minus 20 b and hence b is equal to minus 1 over 4. So, we will put it in this and we will get this uh, to solve the differential equation and we can write it as 1 over 4 a that is 1 over 4 dx over 20 minus x minus 1 over 4 because it is b value and dx over 40 minus x is equal to integration of let us write 1 dt and now let us integrate these both the sides and we will get it as 1 over 4 times it is ln 20 minus x and since uh, this is minus x so we will divide by the differentiation of this and it is going to be minus minus 1 over 4 ln 40 minus x again it is minus x so it would become plus is equal to t plus a constant of integration. So, here again we have ln, ln and 1 by 4, I will take 1 by 4 common and write ln as since it is plus and minus, so we can write it as 40 minus x divided by 20, 20 minus x is equal to t plus c. Now we need to find the con, we know that when t was 0, x was 10, so we will get by putting substituting the value here and it is ln 40 minus 10 is 30 over 20 minus 10 is 10 is equal to 0 plus c that is c. So, we got c value as 1 by 4 ln 3 and hence we will put it in this and we will get it as 1 by 4 times ln 40 minus x over 20 minus x is equal to t plus 1 by 4 ln 3. Now, we can see 1 by 4 is everywhere except this place. So, I will multiply by 4 and we will get it as ln 40 minus x over 20 minus x and I will transfer at the same time this thing to the other side. It is minus ln 3 is equal to 4 times t and since the uh, it is ln and minus something. So, it is going to be division. So, we will get ln 40 minus x over 3 times 20 minus x that is 60 minus 3x is equal to 4t. Now, we will remove the ln by taking the exponent of it. So, it is 40 minus x over 
60 minus 3x is equal to e raised to the power 4t. So now we need to find the uh, solve this and express x in terms of t. So we'll cross multiply and we'll get 40 minus x is equal to 60 times e raised to the power 4t minus 3x times e raised to the power 4t. Let's collect the x terms together and this other together. So it is 3x e raised to the power 4t minus x is equal to 60 e raised to the power 40 and minus 40 here. So x common and taking the other side, other things to the next side. So we'll get 60 e raised to the power 40 minus 40 over 3 e raised to the power 40 minus 1. So that is the expression in terms of t. So I hope it is clear. Let's do the next question. Here's the second. State what happens to the value of x when t becomes large. So from first part, we know that it is x is equal to 60 e raised to the power 40, 40 minus 40 over 3 raised to the power 40 minus 1. And we can take uh, e raised to the power 40 common from numerator and denominator both. And we'll get e raised to the power 40 times 60 minus 40 over e raised to the power 40 from the numerator. And from the denominator also, we can take this common and it is 3 minus 1 over e raised to the power 40. So these two got cancelled because it is never 0. And now when t tends to infinity, when then e raised to the power 40 would be tends to infinity and 1 over e raised to the power 40 will tends to 0. And when it tends to 0, then this two got vanished and x will become 60 by 3, that is 20. So when x becomes large, x become uh, sorry, t becomes large, x become 20. I hope it is clear. Let's do the next question. Here's the question number 10. Uh, the diagram shows the graph of y is equal to e raised to the power cos x into sine cube x for x between 0 and pi and its maximum point m. The shaded reason r is bounded by the curve and the x axis. So we, the first question is find the x coordinates of m show all the necessary working and give your answer correct to two decimal place. So we know that at m, since it is a maximum point dy over dx at this is going to be zero. So what we are going to do, we are going to find the differentiation of this function. And we know it is going to be the product of two functions. So we are going to use the product rule as well as we are going to use a cha chain rule as well because it is cos x. So it is first function as it is e raised to the power cos x into differentiation of second function. So it is chain rule 3 times sine square x into differentiation of sine that is cos x plus second function as it is that is sine cube x into differentiation of first functions. Again we are going to use the chain rule it is e raised to the power x type so e raised to the power cos x into differentiation of cos x is minus sine of x. We can simplify it. We can take this e raised to the power cos x common and sine square is also common. So I'll take sine square x also common and we got it as 3 times cos x minus sine, it is sine x, sine, sine cube and sine, this is sine power 4, so 2 common, so it is sine square x. And at m it is going to be 0. So now this to be 0, either this is 0, which is of course not possible, e raised to the power cos x is never going to be uh, 0. And sine square x, if sine square x is 0, it means sine x is equal to 0. It means x would be either 0 or pi. So in, in at 0 and pi, we already know it is going to be these two points. So it will not give the coordinates of m. So only possibility is when 3 times cos x minus sin square x. Sin square x is all, I'll write it as 1 minus cos square x. It is going to be 0. Or it can be written as cos square x plus 3 cos x minus 1 is equal to 0. So let's, it is quadratic in cos. So let's solve for the cos value. So for from the quadratic formula, it is cos x is equal to minus 3 plus minus root b square minus 4ac, that is 3 square 9 plus 4 is 
13 over 2 and we know that when we take it as positive we will get it as minus 3 plus root 13 and when we will get minus negative value we will get minus 3 and minus a value which is of course more than 3 so we will not take that because it is going to be less than minus 1 and cos x is only between minus 1 and 1. So from here we will get cos x is equal to minus 3 plus root 13 over 2 and this is and we can check it here also we can write one more step and we can mention that it is going to be the two values when we will take negative it would be less than minus that's why we will not include that value and this value is 0 0.0 0.30277 so I'll write 8 and hence x would be cos inverse of 0.3028 and in the radian it is going to be 1.1.263 and all since we need to write the answer till two decimal places so that is the answer in degree uh, sorry in radian so that's it for this value because the next value will be more than pi so that will that is not we are not going to consider it so that's it let's do the second question here's the second part of this uh, by using by first using the substitution u is equal to cos x find the exact value of the area r so we know it is going to be from 0 to pi and fx dx so that is y dx here so area is from 0 to pi y dx y dx it can be written as 0 to pi and e raised to the power cos x into sin cube x dx now let's put the substitute let's do the substitution u is equal to cos x so if u is equal to cos x it means du would be minus sin x dx or you can say minus du is equal to sin x dx and since there is cube so i will separate it so that i can get the sin x separately and it would be sin square x into sin x and since we don't know uh, we have put this value of cos x as u so we'll write sin x sin square x as 1 minus cos square x so that i can put it as 1 minus u square so altogether it become integration of this i'll put the limits afterward let's put it this uh, in this way e raised to the power u here and sin square x that is 1 minus cos square x into sin x dx is minus du from here we can see sin x dx is minus du and it become again once once more it is going to be 1 minus x square u square so minus is there so it would become e raised to the power u into u square minus 1 du and we are going to do the integration and since we have the product of these two we are going to do the integration by part and it would be e raised to the power u uh, sorry first function will take it as u square minus 1 so it would be u square minus 1 and integration of second function is e raised to the power u subtract the integration of differentiation of this that is going to be 2u minus 0 into the integration of this is e raised to the power u du which is 2u e raised to the power u and again we have to do the integration because it is u times e raised to the power u so integration by part it is u square minus 1 e raised to the power u and it is minus 2 common and integration of this by say, part again so it is one, first function as it is integration of second function is e raised to the power u minus integration of first function differentiation that is 1 and e raised to the power u then and I will write e raised to the power u integration is again e raised to the power u so in one line we can write and that is going to be I can see it is e raised to the power u here 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 so we can take e raised to the power u common and we will left with u square minus 1 minus 2u and plus 1 uh, sorry plus 2 because 2 is also there so it become e raised to the power u into u square minus 2u plus 1 and now let's substitute the values of uh, when u is equal to cos x so when u is equal to cos x and the limit was from 0 to pi so when x is equal to uh, when x is equal to 0 
then u will become cos x that is cos 0 it is 1 and when x become pi then u become cos x cos pi that is minus 1. So let's substitute the values and then it would be the upper bound and lower bound. So upper bound is pi so it is going to be area is equal to upper bound the value when u is equal to minus 1 it is going to be e raised to the power minus 1 times minus 1 square is 1 minus 2 into minus 1 is plus 2 and plus 1 here and subtract the lower limit that is 1 e raised to the power 1 into 1 minus 2 into 1 is 2 plus 1 so this is going to be 0 and the answer would be a is equal to 2 plus 2 4 4 e raised to the power minus 1 so 4 over e so this is the area uh, that's the answer and that's it for this video that was the last question of this uh, paper. Uh, paper. So I hope you must have got it. Meet again in the next video. Thank you so much.